Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Mr. Coder. And in this video, I'm gonna be show I'm gonna be showing you how to do everything NIM. Question C from Code Forces Round 941, Division 2. So basically, Alice and Baba are playing a game at N piles of stones. And they'll select on each player's turn, they'll select a positive integer K that is the most the size of the smallest non-empty pile, and remove K stones from each non-empty pile at once. And the first player who is unable to make a move because all the piles are empty loses. And given that Alice goes first, who will win the game if both players play optimally? So if we look at the sample, the first one, if they're all three, then Alice can just pick three. And then all of them are zero. So then Bob can't play anything. So Bob will lose and Alice will win. And then for this one, one seven, Bob will win because... Alice will have to pick one because that's the smallest one. And then Bob can pick six, which is the new size of this. So that means that Alice won't have a move. So Bob will win. And if we look at this case, Alice will have to do one, which will make everything one less. And then this two will become a one. So then Bob will have to do this one. Then Alice will have to do this one because it's a one. Then Bob will have to do this one because it's a, it, it became a one. And now, since there's no more ones that Alice is forced to do, now since now we can call it that Alice has control of the game because she isn't forced to do anything. And it's the first person who's not forced to do anything that will win. And if you take a look at this, because this will now be three. This will be three, this will be five, and this will be... And, th and this will be 96. So, so then if... Then Alice can pick two, which will make these all one less. So that'll make this three a one, this this one a three, and this one a 94. So then now Bob is forced to do one. And then because the key thing is that even if there's like a, so basically uh, Alice can force Bob to keep like playing keep doing ones and even if there's like a gap like just say this wasn't nine this was eight then if alice just picked this to make bob put a one then alice would have to play a one but Al if alice plays optimally alice can just max out max out this one so then bob would have to play this one as a one and then alice still has control so that's basically this problem so in my code, I I use the set to help me because the set sorts it and it also removes duplicates and makes it unique because if you if you take a look at the samples, like it doesn't matter it like the duplicates. It only matters the unique numbers. So then I turn it back to an array and I also make an array that has the numbers from one th to the new size of the array. Because if because if they're equal, like just say that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or something, then then it no one will ever get control. So then we just need to see how many are there. And if it's even, then Bob wins. If it's odd, then Alice wins. Because even though the per even though like if it's even, then Alice has control but there's nothing to have control over because the whole array is already used because no one can have control. So uh, if the, if this isn't the edge case, then the, I'll, I leave the win as just a variable so then I can keep updating it to see who wins. And then I do like while it's the same as like one, two, three, four, five, six, while it still follows the numerical order, I keep changing the winner and I do win plus one mod two, so that'll always be zero or one. I'll keep alternating. And then if if the winner is zero, then Alice wins. Otherwise, Bob wins. And as you can see, it's Alice, Bob, Alice, Alice, Bob, Alice, Alice, which is what it, what it is here. Alice, Bob, Alice, Alice, Bob, Alice, Alice. So yeah, that's basically how you do everything NIM. Question C from Code Forces around 941 Division 2. And if you like this, if you like my video, then... Please go to the community on my channel. Channel I have a poll there, and that'll help me decide what to do videos on. 
so yeah, and that that doesn't mean I'll stop doing code forces. I I'll do code forces solutions as much as I can, but I'll also do other videos too. So yeah, if you like my video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.